Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are continuing on with my beauty inventory videos for 2023 and this is actually the final one, it's my makeup inventory. I have 13 face primers worth $350 and 80 cents. I have 5 eye primers worth $133. I have 15 foundations worth $470 and 84 cents. I have 1 connector worth $12. I have 5 concealers worth $144. I have 10 face powders. They are worth $363.85 altogether. Just to avoid confusion, my Urban Decay one that you might see on my list is actually repressed into this Chanel compact. Just in case you are trying to match up the list to the product. I have 2 setting sprays worth $31.99. I have two contour products worth $58.50. Just to be clear here, I have counted the contour only from the Charlotte Tilbury. I have valued it at $14.50 because the value of the whole palette is $29. So I have divided that by two and the highlight is in the highlight category also being worth $14.50. So it is just these two that come under contour. I have five bronzers worth $68.16, one standalone one from NARS, one in this Too Faced palette, two in the Benefit palette and one in this Too Faced palette. So it's not a product that I buy very much of as bronzer but I do like to count them from the palettes just so that I remember that they're there. Getting into my first big category we have blush. Again you can see some of those Too Faced palettes there but for the most part to be honest my blushes are either individual or from blush palettes like the the Urban Decay one here or the NARS one here although that does have a highlight in it. In total I have got 54 blushes here and they are worth $1,147.11. I have 21 highlights so again the majority are over here as highlights that I've chosen but I did get highlights in these palettes so I like to keep them in the inventory there just to remind me that they are there should I be counting them or be doing some kind of project where I'm rotating between them all but there are 21 of them worth $641.80 altogether. I have 18 eye crayons these are worth $502.44. I'm a huge fan of eye crayons I think they're great but some of these have definitely started to dry out so I have been going through these and assessing them and there will be a declutter coming very soon. Make sure you're subscribed so that you get to know when that happens. On to single eye shadows. I have 67 of these and these are worth $1,111.69. I'm definitely hoping this year as I try and rotate through my collection that I'll get a little bit more use out of these than I have done in the past few years when I've been trying to pan and we'll see if there's any that I can declutter that have maybe turned off. The next category is what I have called small eyeshadow palettes, so that is anything from duos up to quince. I have 14 of these and they are worth $734.90. Moving on to large eyeshadow palettes, so that's anything with six or more shades in it. And I have 42 of these and they are worth $1,873.73. I have 54 eyeliners and they are worth $996.27. At the moment I just count this all as one category. I am kind of considering possibly breaking it down to liquid eyeliners and pencil eyeliners just to sort it out a little bit more but at the moment I am counting it all as one so there are 54 in total in that one category. I have 14 mascaras worth $245.68. On to brow products, I have 16 brow products worth $328.47. On to lip balms and primers, I have 11, they are worth $188.33. You might notice you're only seeing 10 here and that is because I have left the one that I am currently trying to finish in my office. So it's sitting in work, forgot to bring it home to film this but it is in the inventory so there are 11. On to lip liners, I have 65 worth $1,074.58. My biggest category, which is, as those of you who are not new to my channel will know, lipstick. Always lipstick. I have 125 lipsticks and it's strange because I have so many more lipsticks than I do the likes of eyeshadow palettes, but the eyeshadow palettes are so bulky 
that they make far more of an impression. What is it so easy for the lipsticks to just sneak up to what is a pretty obscene number, let's be real, at 125, but they, they pack away so nicely and they take up, you know, nothing like as much space as eyeshadow palettes. So it's quite easy to kind of not really take note of how out of control this category is becoming, but it is definitely a little bit out of control. So a quantity of 125 and a value of $3,362.62. For liquid lipsticks, I have 20 worth $289.88. On to lip gloss, I currently have 18 worth $418.22. Again, I know already that some of these have gone off, so I need to go through this category properly, have a little investigation and do a bit of a declutter. So make sure you're subscribed so that you see that when it goes live. In my other category, which is kind of a catch-all, I have seven items, so three face palettes, three glitters and a freckle pen. Seven items worth $249.50 altogether. And the very last thing to count in is one sample sachet worth $1. So in total, my opening quantity for my makeup collection for 2023 is 605 items. And altogether value-wise, those 605 items are worth $14,799.56. But now that I've done this final inventory, I am going to put together my makeup rehab plans for 2023. So I will put a video up outlining that, sharing my goals, sharing any sort of projects I'm going to undertake to try and reduce my collection this year. So I will see you in that video. Thank you very much for watching this one and I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Bye.